Hello, I'm Brian Foster, and I'm talking about spiritualism. But today I'm talking about a little bit different. I'm talking about an interesting set of concepts which parallel spiritualism. I was listening to a YouTube video by Magic Eyes Only. I'll have the link in the description below. And this person was reviewing messages from a organization called Majestic 12. Now, what I read about that is they say that many people say it was formed by President Truman to investigate and recover technology from alien spacecraft. But then they also state that any information about being created by the U.S. government is false. Therefore, make what you wish of the Majestic 12 organization. I found what they were presenting to be extremely interesting. They were revealing some major aspects of what Spiritism brought us in the 1850s. Now, they may be channeling from aliens, in which case their knowledge of the divine laws is easily explainable. Any advanced civilization will know of the spirit realm and their relationship to the physical realm. This does not signify that they are all benevolent and compassionate. Some may know, but do not follow the path to the light. I have attempted to not reference any political or personal references to people in my discussion about this video. Hence, fasten your on your credibility detector, and let's dive into some of Majestic 12's statements. So here's one group. One day you may learn that your way is not the only way. The very young do not always do as they are told. Perception is power. Ability to control one's perceptions allows you to escape from the matrix. How you perceive has been chemically and psychologically conditioned within humans for 6,000 years. Every seven years, your body is replenished. Your pineal gland allows you to perceive the inconceivable. Your pineal gland is like a lens into your own brain, and the vision you experience is placing a spotlight on a single neuron. Because it is so clear, it takes a long time to realize. The merging of timelines is a shift in perspective, a shift in which focal point your lens is peering through. The illness is a cover story. Perception is a powerful weapon. Being able to control your perception is what keeps you asleep. When you are asleep, you are in another realm. When you are on the other side, you cannot hear the cries of life. When you are on the other side, you are asleep. Now first, a note. I took this screenshot from the YouTube video reference earlier, and the person in the picture is the creator of the Magic Eyes Only YouTube channel. The sentence, one day you may learn that your way is not the only way, has been told to us repeatedly by the spirit realm via spiritist mediums. We need to realize the validity of the divine laws and reconstruct ourselves to see through a filter of love, charity, fraternity, and to recognize that we are immature spirits on a campus called Earth. The next key point is ability to control one's perception allows you to escape from the matrix. Again, this encourages us to search for the truth of our environment. Spiritism explains that we are on and in an artificial construct. The purpose of Earth is to provide a location where we shall travel through custom-made episodes designed to alter our character and personality. Realization of this fact should change everything for the common person. Your pineal gland allows you to conceive the inconceivable. Spiritism has stated that the pineal gland is the doorway for spirit communications. Mediums have large and developed pineal glands. The next sentence reinforces the preceding one. Your pineal gland is like a lens into your own brain, and the vision you experience is like placing a spotlight on a single neuron. Because it is so clear, it takes a long time to realize. So now, think of who holds the lens. It is the combination of your own spirit intelligence and the spirit realm. Since our planet is an artificial construct, we are programmed during this physical existence to ramp down the power of our senses to see, hear, feel, and touch only a small portion of the real world, the spirit world. Spiritism tells us that we only perceive about one-eighth of what is really around us. The group of four messages, being able to control your perception is what keeps you asleep, I believe refers to the corrupt elite class who tries to keep us all on their narrative so they can control the population for their own benefit. 
When you are asleep, you are in another realm, meaning that instead of perceiving the true reality, where we are on earth to learn and grow, we become entangled in the materialist view of reality, where consumption and ownership are the driving forces of mankind. When you are on the other side, you cannot hear the cries of life. Spiritism has also told us that to become enamored of our current material-based culture dulls our ability to promote our spirituality. Improving our character is the prime reason we are here. When you are on the other side, you are asleep. Hence, the lower spirit-inspired cabal desires us to forget our quest for spiritual pureness. Ignorant spirits fully realize that by retarding the collective spiritual growth and raising our planet's vibrations, they delay the time when the earth will become a planet of regeneration, meaning the spirits who have not determined to follow the path to the light will be sent to other less advanced planets. The next group is mainly a repeat from the previous screenshot. The illness is a cover story. Perception is a powerful weapon. Being able to control your perception is what keeps you asleep. When you are asleep, you are in another realm. When you are in the other side, you cannot hear the cries of life. When you are on the other side, you are asleep. When you are asleep, you lack perception of your surroundings. Not being able to see or understand your surroundings makes you test positive for the illness. You are watching a movie. The highlight I wish to take from this statement, not being able to see or understand your surroundings, makes you test positive. The spirit world cautions us against fear, fear that has been imposed by the MSN, the mainstream media. In fact, the spirit Lael sent us a message concerning the time we are now in. I will read it. Friends, the disease that scares us is just a tool of conscience for the readjustment of being. In this way, any fear of the dark pictures of the moment in which we live must be replaced by the certainty of divine protection and by the understanding that the disease is collective proof for improving the relationship of humanity with the real values of life. Too much materialism, the cult of ego and money, are the face of those who at this moment panic, not with the loss of lives, but with the possibility of the economic and financial collapse that will not come because it is not in the interest of the greater world to abruptly change human relations, but rather the awakening of consciousness towards new forms of work and production. Fear is a reflection of the materialistic and greedy minds that have become ill. Do not fear outbreaks or disease. Seek firstly vigilance and understanding over the means of contagion, and remember the serenity within yourself that soothes and sustains. Do your part with tranquility and trust in the highest that does not neglect the ways of man, even if man does not perceive his actions. Jesus remains ahead of the world, and everything is in his enlightened and merciful hands. Watch and pray, Liel. Now there's another message about our current state from the spirit of Rakan, which you may wish to view on my YouTube channel. It supplies even more context and purpose behind the recent outbreak. In summary, the communications from Majestic 12 and via spiritist mediums from high spirits in the heavens surrounding the earth, as directed from Christ, supplies us with a consistent view of our planet, our state of being, and the current dramatic worldwide episode we are living through now. Yes, we are watching a movie. We are central actors in the production. Like actors in any play or film, each experience is transitioned from one state to the next usually resulting in personal growth. I urge you to step out for a few moments and explore your spiritual side. Learn about spiritism so you may realize that we are all immortal souls who are in the process of improving ourselves. It is a journey which will take many lives and countless eons. To understand more, I suggest you read my book, The Spirit Realm. Spiritism has revealed the reality of our existence. God bless.